Hi, this is a quick clip to um, show a work through of exercise 4.9 on Unit 3 of um, Course M150. Um, so this is an optional exercise that um, talks a little bit about graphics compression. So within Unit 3, um, we will have studied different ways of storing information um, and how you can remove redundancy from data. Um, within the unit, we looked at JPEG files and GIF files in particular as um, compression formats, um, which have advantages over other formats like things like bitmaps, in that they store compressed images. Um, do have a look at the section on redundancy and compression again, if, if that's not all obvious. So um, basically, this exercise illustrates um, how different file formats compress in different ways. Um, and we've got two different um, image files to work from here. So for no particular reason, I'm going to do the first one. So if we go to my, and I've installed all of the software onto my onto my um, computer, so I'm not running this off CD. So if we open Kate, and we'll open her in Notepad, oh, sorry, in Paint. OK, and then basically what it's a case of doing is doing a save as and choosing different file formats just to see what happens. So in this case, we'll save the JPEG file as a 24-bit bitmap. Now, you'll notice there's all sorts of different sort of bitmap versions, each of which have different ways of representing colour. We'll do 24-bit and then we'll come back and see what the other ones do. So we'll save as a 24-bit bitmap. Now, as you can see, that's now a bitmap file because it says so at the top. Um, but the colour is much the same as it was as a JPEG. There is a slight de degradation there, but nothing too bad. So if we uh, get rid of that, and then we'll load her up again. Right, and this time, just to see what happens, we'll save as, and we'll choose um, a 16-colour bitmap. So if we do that, it will warn you that you're going to have some loss of colour information. Um, this is because we've chosen a 16 colour bitmap. So whereas with the JPEG file, the way it represents colour is slightly different, for a bitmap, you can choose so that you've got a certain number of different colours, so 16 colour. There's monochrome as well, which just stores a black and white, which is covered in the unit. So it's similar to storing a 0 or a 1, depending on whether it's black and white in that pixel. Um, so obviously, that's a much reduced um, colour resolution in that file. And if we go come back here and have a look, so we've got the JPEG file, which is 570k. The Kate 2 bitmap, which is the one that I just did at the reduced colour depth, is a little bit larger, but you've lost all of that uh, resolution in there, so you've lost all the way the colour is, is arranged. And then the 24-bit bitmap is a lot larger, so it's it's um, 3601k, so that's, that's obviously a big saving. If you open these two, so the JPEG and the bitmap alongside each other, um, you won't be able to see a great deal of difference between the two. Um, the other thing the unit suggests that you do is to save it as either a PCT or a PPM format. So if we just quickly go and have a look at that. And you can fiddle about with lots of different um, file formats in here. Um, I don't have the PCT, but if we save it as a PNG, for example, portable network graphic file, um, then if we go back and have a look, we should have a PNG file, which again is larger. Um, it will be have the same colour sort of scheme as the JPEG. So again, if you open any of these three files, they'll look sort of broadly similar to each other. But obviously the JPEG has got a significantly better compression rate. Um, so I hope that sort of uh, made things make a little bit more sense if you were having a problem with that exercise. Um, and it does illustrate well how graphics compression works. Thanks very much.